Hello, welcome back. It's Keith from KMA's Corner, and how are you doing today? I am doing well. Thank you for asking. <laughs> I was going to start a thing, kind of like a little catchphrase, like Etho has bring your snacks, and I've done a couple of comments on water, so get your water. Well, who enjoys drinking water, really? I mean, yes, water is awesome, and it's very good for you. And it's what I drink 95% of the time. Excuse you. But, in this case, you know what? Getting your water is not a, ba uh, a rallying cry for a battle or anything. Come on, troops, get your water. Not gonna work. Well, anyways, I was gonna work on uh, this thing behind me for a little bit today. Um, but, you see, there's this particular brick or stone that you need to do it and I don't have that brick anymore it's called cobblestone I've used up all the cobblestone in my world so I am out of cobblestone which kind of makes this cobblestone or thing that's made out of things from cobblestone irrelevant for this episode so episode 13 instead of working on the tree farm we're gonna work on the tree farm <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll see what I mean. Um, let me just see. Okay. I need to get a couple of squids. Um, if this is episode 13, you go, ooh, 13, unlucky number. What's going on with my ink sacks? I'm going to die in this episode. It's the only thing worse could be episode 666. But um, for those who don't know me, 13 is actually my lucky number. Yes, I was born on a 13th, a 13th of January. Ah, there's there's some squid. Um, so I've always kind of, when Friday the 13th happens and people go, oh my god, it's going to be a bad day and all that. I'm actually, I enjoy Friday the 13th. It's usually a good day for me. Um, because I guess I got 13 in my body because I was born on the 13th. Oh, I'm dying. Let me get some breath. But he, oh, yeah, 15 is good enough. So I am um, going to, oh, oh, I hear you. We're still on the quest for Endermen. I still want to make sure I get enough en, uh, Ender Pearls to find the Stronghold. And then uh, eventually kill whatever's in the stronghold the dragon we're gonna wait for the 1.9 update before I do that but I still uh, you know in search of endermen all the time so I have my die so I go over here and I grab myself a stack of glass I put some die in the center put it around make myself a stack of glass now I can get rid of these I take half of them, then half of them again, and make some hands. Oh, yes, pains. Just 32 of them, so that means I have almost a full stack of pain, um, normal glass, and a half stack of pains. I like how glass turns into panes at 6 a time, or 16 a time, 16 a time. That makes life a little easier. And I just wanted to change this because it's been really bugging me, and I want to see if it looks any better. Yeah, so that's exactly what we're doing at the beginning of this episode. We're just changing a couple of panes of glass. Then I'm going to take a break, and maybe um, we can do a sped up commentary um, over me getting some cobblestone so I can finish this building and I just wanted to ask you guys and I do want I ask questions almost every video and uh, the, the questions aren't usually answered but this one would be a nice one for an answer am I giving you guys too much tree farm overload because I've done two or three episodes here already or is it okay that I still stay in here? Because 
ultimately, uh, three or four episodes on the same place in a row is kind of not the, not good. But I really want to get this tree farm done with because it's a big project, and if I put it off, I'm gonna my ideas are gonna slip out of my head, and it's gonna be hard to get back into it. So I don't know. The only other thing I can think of is record a whole bunch of episodes and slowly weed them out in in between other episodes. I don't know if I like the uh, black there either, but at least the trunk is shown up. Maybe I'll just change it to a normal looking tree like I did on the other side. Instead of having something fancy like an acacia tree here. But, I don't know. I'm going to um, do some mining and speed up some footage and talk to you guys a little bit. But till then, hey! Well, actually, till then will be one second from now. Bye. Alright, so in order for me to get some... Cobble, I decided to take some footage and do a branch mine, one branch on my branch mining, and get as much cobble as I possibly can. So basically, I just um, dig a mine that's, I think, 250 blocks long, and I do poke holes on the side, and I just collect up all the diamonds, all the stuff I can get, get some nice XP this way also. Um, and when I get something that I can fortune, I fortune it. I don't use the Silk Touch yet. I'm, I don't know why yet. Because I haven't really established myself yet on this thing. Um, on this particular map. But I would like to tell you something while I get this um, cobblestone so I can continue working on my building. It is now Thursday. And uh, when I recorded that last clip, it was, I think... Saturday or Monday but anyways um, I haven't I called in sick to work on Monday and Tuesday then I thought I was gonna get better on Wednesday but I ended up going to the doctors on Wednesday and it turns out I have pneumonia so I haven't been working um, I'm off till at least next Tuesday so another few more days and I'm gonna try my best to uh, keep recording um, but I'm having a little coughing bouts and stupid stuff like that. <laughs> so, um, I apologize if I can't keep the schedule up. I don't know. I guess being with kid, um, you get sick a little bit more than you would without little kid in school. So, um, I apologize for any change in my video uploads, but I think I can pretty much go along and continue it because my schedule isn't that bad and having all this free time will make it a lot easier because I'm not working and I got an extra a few hours each week to do this um, so I'm just waiting for the medicines to take effect and make it so I can um, be healthy again to go back to work so till then though I will do my best to get the videos going and I uh, took this branch mining video and I sped it up and decided to, instead of a lot of times when I do this, I put on music and oh, that's right. This is when I decide <laughs> I recorded this video of me branch mining and I'm doing the commentary after the fact. So I recorded this branch mining video, I think Monday morning and uh, I ran into this lava pool. I usually do branch mines at level 11 because lava forms at you know 10 or lower so when I'm going across I hit the lava pool but I hit it at the surface so it doesn't pour on me I'm at the same my feet are at the same level or my feet are one level higher than where the lava is but in this particular instance I ran into a lava lake that was a little bit higher instead of dousing it with um, water and turning to obsidian I decided I'm gonna take this and um, take this lava and store it for a rainy day so I'm right now I'm cleaning up some storage chests uh, because I kind of lost the fact that I was recording and speeding this video uh, footage up for the video but I end up making a whole bunch of um, lava buckets and storing them for the future so because I do want to do a uh, a build with a whole bunch of lava in it because I th lava I mean when you first get Minecraft and you start playing the first thing you play with is lava <laughs> because it's cool it's fun it's dangerous and all that fun stuff so 
Uh, it's always good to have a double chest full of lava hanging around, especially if you can afford the iron. And I can, especially going um, mining like this. So, and also, uh, seeing that this is a few days ago, um, I've also done some work on the tree farm, but I haven't recorded anything, so I'm not going to give away any anything that I've done. The next video, uh, I will show you what I've done. I just, I don't know. I When I play Minecraft, there's times where I can sit back and relax and enjoy the game. And when I do that, it's doing the mundane things over and over again, like the like this mining, the farming of crops and stuff. That's it puts me in my mode, my relaxation mode to recover from work, and that's why I enjoy Minecraft because work, believe it or not, um, it's kind of stressful, and uh, being able to <laughs> goof off and cave for a couple hours or you know, uh, just do mundane stuff like this kind of relaxes my mind and helps me recover from work. And that's one of the reasons why I love Minecraft so much. Um, I'm just kind of watching what I'm doing. Oh, I'm short one. Ah! Hate that when that happens. Yeah, <laughs> you have a double chest full of lava buckets, except for you're missing one. So I'll fix that problem in a, f in a second and finish up all this caving. Um, so basically... What I was hinting at earlier, I do the one branch all the way to the end of my tunnel. Then I go back and do poke holes every fourth row. There's my last lava bucket. I'll store that for later. And look, diamonds. So, um... Oh, jeez. I can tell that I'm kind of messed up because I... Ah, more lava. Burn. Don't burn me. I'm completely losing my train of thought. So maybe, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't be recording. But I'll, I'll keep this anyways. Why not? What the hell? I, I want to get those diamonds. It's damn obsidian in my way. <laughs> yeah. I, I wish obsidian was a little easier to get. It's one of my favorite blocks because, as you can tell, most of my themes in this game are blue and purple. Um, and obsidian has a nice purple hue to it. And I wish there was more blocks that went along with it, but it's, it's a nice contrast block to use, and it's just a real pain in the ass to get. But, you know, oh, more diamond. So my uh, future for this world, I hinted at it real quick, or I'm in the spawn chunk area where all the work is going to be done. So where the R2-D2 plaza thingy is, I am going to make those uh, farms above it. I'm going to make a villager breeder, get a whole bunch of villagers going, and uh, make it a villager out outpost. Um, don't know how I'm going to hook everything up. I'm going to have to do some schematics, do some engine, um, architectural work before I even build it to figure out how I'm going to hook everything together because I want one place to get everything I need to do with villagers in that R2-D2 building and set it up as a villager town square type thing. Um, yes, diamonds, but, uh, my first goal is to finish the tree farm, which is why I'm doing this cobblestone hunt in search of cobblestone. That's going to be the name of this episode because I'm in search of cobblestone and I'm just going to take it easy for the next couple of days, uh, recover from pneumonia. Uh, I'm doing pretty good. I'm not coughing up. Usually, um, I figured I'd have at least one coughing spaz episode in this recording um, and when I'm done with this I'm gonna record the outro to the video call this video done because it is basically done I did some work at the beginning and now I'm doing this little weird interlude in the middle get all this coal it's amazing how much coal you use smelting all the cobblestone and the stone bricks and stuff um, I never I see people all the time when I'm watching Minecraft videos skipping over coal, but I, I try not to skip over coal unless I'm doing, you know, uh, UHC or something, then after I have my, the worth that's going to get me through the UHC, I skip over it, uh, because it's useless then, but when I'm playing survival and stuff like that, I never skip over coal, it's a good source of um, XP, and I believe it or not, even though I do have the 
what are those things called? The Blaze Farm? It really isn't as good an XP farm as I thought it was going to be. So I might make the Spider Farm, which is right next to the Tree Farm that I'm building, um, into an XP farm so I don't have to run a couple hundred blocks to get a uh, low-end XP. And I'm really surprised about that because Blazes are supposed to give you twice the XP as regular mobs, but I don't know. That the blaze farm isn't nearly as... I guess I'm just impatient. You know, I, I want to arrive there and go, Okay, 30 XP coming right now. Ding, ding. Okay, 30 XP. Done. You got 30 XP. Enchant. <laughs> but I guess life ain't that easy. Um, or Minecraft life. <laughs> so I'm almost done with this tunnel. And I will be back um, when, it, when this video is done. Uh, to do wrap this video up. And tell you what's going on in the future in the next video. So, to much ado, listen to a little bit of my music in the background here. It's just a little part of one of my songs that is uh, repeated over and over again. A couple of minute section. And, uh, let me know, do you like the fact that the music's back there? Or should I get rid of it? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, back to real video time. I think probably about 3, 2, 1... Zero. Oh, I count down like Trump. Ooh, bad. Alright, guys. I hope you enjoyed that sped up mining. <laughs> it's just a little something I had to do. Um, because I needed cobblestone really bad. And uh, this, this week was a little weird to do videos with. Because um, at the beginning of the video, I was going, yay! number 13 I love the number 13 because 13 is good for me I was born on the 13th and all that wonderful stuff and, and then I catch pneumonia while recording episode number 13 what the F is up with that huh but anyways we got some stuff done we did some work on the tree farm yes we did we did a little bit of work on the tree farm and we got some cobblestone as a matter of fact all the cobblestone has been used up again and I gotta go for another cobblestone trip but Beware, I am not going to make you watch a sped up video footage of me doing another branch mining exposition. But I did pretty good because um, I got some diamonds now. Let's see. Yeah, two and a half. Well, not two and a half, but two stacks. And, and before, uh, before I went, I had like uh, not much diamonds. So that trip mining that I showed you, you know, helped out a lot. Especially with, ah, that's a little too close for comfort. Especially with the uh, pick that I like. Where are you? This pick, you know, fortune three on a pick, you know, gotta love it. I hear something's tracking me. <sighs> but anyways, I appreciate you uh, making it through this episode. I mean, it's not a horrible episode, but it's a little different than normal because I things change. You know, I got sick. And yeah, 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 yeah. I kind of think the episode will run still pretty well. So give it a like. Let me know about the music if you think I should get rid of the music that I have in the background. Let me know about the thumbnails I've been using. I would like some sort of feedback on what I'm doing. And uh, it is after the new year now. Now we'll say in October or something. I had 91 subscribers and I said we will make it to 100 by the end of the new year. I really didn't push it that much ever since that one day. But just to give you an update, just in case you care. I went from 91 and I wanted to get to 100 and I'm at 90. I lost one. Woohoo! <laughs> Good thing I like doing this for fun. Would like some people to follow me and have fun with me, but you know, I'd still be out here doing this for fun alone. I enjoy Minecraft, I enjoy playing it. Helps reset my mood from the day. And. Hopefully I will find some more good friends. I mean, I do have good friends now. But I want to be introduced to some more good friends playing this game. And maybe that is you. The person who's watching this now. So give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Say hi. And uh, tell people about me. A little weird. But I think that makes it charming. <laughs> Anyways. Have a great day. It's Keith for KMA's Corner. On episode number 13, I can't use fingers anymore. No, can't use fingers anymore uh, to count them out. Have a great day. Enjoy.